Yo, what's up, everyone? It's Carson Rock 35 here. Welcome back to another episode here on Pokefine Podcast here in Minecraft. So today we have a few things to talk about, mainly talking about your guys' comments and where we're going with the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First of all, I want to go ahead and say a big, massive thank you to all of you. We are up to 400 subscribers now. 100 way from being halfway to 1k that is absolutely insane i want to thank you guys so so much i appreciate it more than you could ever know and we're working towards our goal thank you thank you so so much i'm super excited about it so on top of that you guys might have seen a, a few couple of slightly different videos on the channel lately and i think that started off with Pokefine Saga the Adventures. Now I want to go ahead and explain what was going on with that and a couple things going on. So I've been looking at different Pixelmon servers and everything so I could add in variety to my content and I could add differences to my content because as much as I love saying like doing everything on Pokefine or whatever, you know, I want to have uh, a, a, a freshness in my content I guess to put that into it so having a different Pixelmon server to record on was a, a big part of that I thought that could really really help and there were a couple servers that I, I definitely wanted to do and I, I was looking at things like Poke Saga, Poke Oasis which is someone who actually reached out to me to be on that server and I I, I want to go ahead and very appreciate I'm not going to call out the name or anything just because I don't want to give too many just stuff to get confused whatever but i want to go ahead and thank him for reaching out to me on twitter for pokey oasis uh not the server that i'm currently working on for pokevine or any content that i'm currently making on for pokey saga he was very nice and he was very uh like to my content and he wanted me to join the server um i haven't taken a good look at his server yet uh, there that server yet. Yeah, I wanted to pokey oasis. I wanted to take a look at it uh, I know they have some custom starters and past that I don't know the basis of their Their server I just haven't had time to check on it And it's one of the reasons that I've started doing some pokey saga content is because I've had my content planned out for some time now And pokey saga was one of the first things I wanted to move to to keep my content fresh So I haven't had a complete chance to explain everything to everyone But I hope that clears up everything that i can and otherwise i think that covers most of the demographics did i really just say covered the demographics the basis of everything that's going on currently outside of that we're getting really really close to packs and i'm super excited everyone and i wonder if we can get 500 uh subs before packs east i think we can do it so let's go ahead and move on to you guys' comments Nick's games he said two days ago on the Pixmon catching quest saga the video we were just talking about he's like congrats on 400 subs thank you my dude you've been around since I think basically the beginning when I relaunched this channel at 37 subscribers so thank you so much we have Phonius blue wolf plays the video did well for you nice that was actually on can you beat Pokemon brilliant diamond Torterra only Nuzla. yeah that video actually has done really well I think I could I want to make another one of those but in a different form ish and I want to make it a lot cleaner that one was a good test and I wanted to see how the long view duration of that went on so that's one of the reasons I haven't made another version of that yet thank you very much for your comment my dude we have Chris aka crazy monkey he says star me evolves from water stones and that was on pokefine pokedex completion yes pokefine pokedex completion was something that I came up with for so you guys know it was just so it's like a mini series that so I can still have pokefine content but just so I could kind of switch away from doing the same old thing when I do my weekend videos with Pokefine, if I have something like that. So I don't always have to do like Bingo Haunt or something like that. You know, I have the ability just to, to go out and collect and catch Pokemon for the Pokedex. And uh, I know Starmie evolves from Waterstones because I figured it out in that episode. So thanks, Chris. But at the same time, for some reason, Google will tell you will evolve at level 36. Or maybe that's when you're supposed to evolve it because of best move sets or whatever. But, you know, that, I figured it out. So thank you very much. We have Daniel Oaks Carson. It's been a while since I've seen you, my dude. If you said, if you run a Flame Lord on that Jolteon, the speed would be insane. And we went through a couple things with this. Um, he, he told Omnipotence to look at 356 on the episode of Part 2 of Pokefine Production. I told him it was, it was basically very true. Um, but... I do have quick feet on my thing and I have a magnet that boosts my Jolteon's attack which is kind of more important because he has almost a maxed out speed and since this is the new one Epic gave me with quick feet ability anytime he gets paralysis or any status effect his speed is already increased and that's kind of the, the big issue with him. If I was going to get any choice item for Jolteon which I can't really at the moment because I'm not going to Gen 3 to get items because that's where a lot of you guys suggested and I appreciate it but I'm trying to stick to the whole Gen 1 at a time thing in order like i've been doing for this entire series without trying to do that too much um 
I would personally prefer specs on him because if you don't want spectacles to do, spectacles actually increase a special attack's power by 50% but locks you into one move. With Jolteon, I'd be completely okay with that. You know, lock into Thunderbolt, no big deal, but a 90 power stab move and then added that 50% bonus is a completely different uh, than like the 10 or 15, uh, maybe 20% bonus effect I get from the mag that I currently have on him. And it's, it's, it's all kind of back and forth. It, it depends on how you want to run your team. Definitely never put a scarf on Jolteon. He's so fast. Anyways, you want to make sure you boost his special attack. And there's a couple things that we go on from that, but we're going to go ahead and move on. So I thank you though for the comments, my dude. We have Quack Quackier. I, I really hope I say that right. He said, man sounds like a Pokemon coach during this video. Oh yeah, that was defeating Cassidy. Yeah, because when I got to the defeating Cassidy, I had already battled her like 15 to 30 times and I, I got down how she would do it eventually and how things would play out and I was just looking for RNG luck. So I would I would explain what I'm doing and as I'm doing it because I know what was going to happen. So it made me really sound coachy and like like I, it, it kind of like I knew exactly what was gonna happen, but I had no idea what was gonna happen. <laughs> it, it was kind of fun though. Uh, Ashton Davil, you said you shoot very interesting. Such content may have more views. Advertise with U T I F Y or something else. That was I survived 100 days in Minecraft Paradise. Ashton, I, I, I sort of get what you're saying, and then the end of it kind of just throws me completely off. I replied to him. Um, basically telling, hey, hey, all the video, check out the newer content, maybe you'll understand what I mean, and if you could actually explain what you meant at the end, I didn't understand it, and I'm sorry. Uh, next we go ahead, we have Pokemon Fan, he said, fun video, but I think it could be a, uh, a little more too otherwise fun. Uh, that was the Poke Fine Pokedex completion. Yeah, I'm still working on the exact, like, format for those videos, but I'm just trying to figure out how I want to edit them, how I want to throw it in there, how long I want to keep them, and how quick pace I want them. I'm just looking out my, my feel my melody for that but thank you very much i appreciate that he said all those number decks completion of the pokedex so far yes so when you see the pokefine pokedex completion videos the number like 103 out of 151 that's how many i currently have before any pokemon in the episode are caught so uh like part one i have 103 out of 151 so starting that very first collection i start with 103 pokemon already caught and then i'll move on to the next one and so forth until it kind of goes on until we get to the next generation and everything Next, we have Piranima Mita Bordiolo. I really, really hope I said that right. I just kind of went for it. You just have to give Z Crystal to the respective Pokemon. That was on 300 days in Minecraft Survival. Yes, I did figure that out. And thank you, thank you very much for letting me know and confirming my suspicions, my dude. Hope you enjoy the content. Next, we have the Doctor. He's just said good vid. And that was also on the 300 days. Thank you very much. Next, we have San Lucario. He said good BC. I don't know what that is. BC makes me think of because, but he didn't continue. So uh good base content I, I really really don't know but that was also on the 300 days thank you same lucario and next we have uh i think that might be everything yes actually that is going to be all the comments i have a few more but i am saving them for another episode of pokemon podcast so if you didn't see your comment and you know you commented don't worry it will be in there the next time and so forth and so forth so i hope you guys all did enjoy this episode of pokemon podcast had a lot of you guys have great comments make sure you keep that up and make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already and i'll see you guys all later peace peace rock stars